those that are sent forth, continues the NJ Dubud translation of Al Quran. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, by the gales sent forth in swift succession, by the raging tempests and the rain spurting winds, by your Lord's revelations, discerning good from evil and admonishing by plea and warning, that which you have been promised shall be fulfilled when the stars are blotted out, when the sky is rent asunder and the mountains crumble into dust. When the apostles are brought together on the appointed day, when will all this be upon the day of judgment? Would that you knew what the day of judgment is. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. Did we not destroy the men of old and cause others to follow them? And thus shall we deal with the guilty. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. Did we not create you from a humble fluid, which we kept in a safe receptacle for an appointed term. All this we did. How excellent is our work. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. Have we not made the earth a home for the living and for the dead? Have we not placed high mountains upon it and given you fresh water for your drink? Woe on that day to the disbelievers. Begone to that hell which you deny. Depart into the shadow that will rise high in three columns, giving neither shade nor shelter from the flames, and throwing up sparks as huge as towers, as bright as yellow camels. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. On that day they shall not speak, nor shall their pleas be heeded. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. Such is the day of judgment. We will assemble you all together with past generations. If then you are cunning, try your spite against me. Woe on that day to the disbelievers, the righteous shall dwell amidst cool shades and fountains and feed on such fruits as they desire. We shall say to them, eat and drink, and may every joy attend you. This is the guerdon of your labors, and thus shall the righteous be rewarded. Woe on that day to the disbelievers, eat and enjoy yourselves a while. Surely you are sinners all. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. When they are bidden to kneel down, they do not kneel. Woe on that day to the disbelievers. In what revelation after this will they believe? Now, hadith is not really in a technical term here, but if you do take it as a technical term, as the inspired sayings, then our events are maybe revealed if it's if it's teachings and it's revealed sometimes um then then it remains the same lesson is that there are muhammad can have sayings and teachings and stuff but the quran is the final word the quran is the final word it, um much like it says in bakari and muslim that some of my sayings uh, adjust some of my earlier sayings, and Quran adjusts some of that, right? Um, and we have this chapter broken into like some tree where you go to hell, but the left hand is the way out. Now, the left hand in Kabbalah is, um, or if you follow the verses going down the body, you know, right shoulder, then left shoulder, and that sort of thing that continue the separated letters beyond the separated letters, then, you know, you're still at the same point. It's the one, you know, charities there, some other things are there. Um, it's the one, it's, it's the book and stone. You do exactly what you're, what you're supposed to do. Um, nothing extra, nothing. And, you know, then things are fine in that regard. Um, Weilun. Yama then well cut the bean. That's the verse that we have repeated so much. <laughs> 